Okay, so let's start by breathing in, closing our eyes, finding a comfortable seat or lying position. And seeing what is happening now in the body and the mind. Let's drop all of our intentions, desires, hopes to get something, hopes to deepen an understanding. Letting go of the past and the future, just being in the present. Strength is often associated with willpower, the power to create something, to have a daily practice, to achieve something in the future. The willpower is actually a thought, probably a feeling. that we engage with and by engaging with it, we give it momentum. And by continuously doing so, we may or may not arrive at the result that we want. But of course, the problem with this is that society conditions the mind and the body to have unhelpful patterns and build momentums that are actually not serving our greatest interest. So if we continue in the same vein, we will achieve some of the things we want, but others won't be our desired outcomes. So true strength is including the power of choice. the power of choice whether to choose a certain pattern or to just notice it and let it go.
and this power of choice comes by abiding as the aware presence. Noticing the thoughts, the feelings, the actions, the words we say, noticing our reactions to events and circumstances. And looking into them, is that the best way to respond? Is that really the best that I can do? Is there a better way? And all of these questions appear by going deeper into the pattern, by resting with it and just waiting to see what else comes up. What other options are available? What thought would occur to me if I did not act in any way? At this stage, we are still dealing with the personal mind. We are taking a thought and going deeper towards source, seeing the structure that the thought has and where the structure comes from. And eventually we reach the end of the pattern. We reach the source that it comes from. Which is awareness itself. At any stage of the pattern, we can always turn back to awareness. Simply because it is all encompassing and always here. Always the field within which everything arises.
a more direct way is to simply be the field. Being that which is aware of any thought and any pattern. in this present moment. There is nothing rehearsed. It is always new. So if we remain this awareness, our thoughts will be new, our body will be renewed. In fact, our thoughts will not only be new, they will be aligned with our deepest desires. And that happens because awareness is all encompassing. Therefore, both the mind and the body and the, that which is desired appear in the same field. By knowing them as the same, it is very easy for them to come together in the same space and time. All it takes is noticing that every circumstance, every event, every other person is happening within your awareness. You cannot want something outside of your awareness because then you wouldn't be aware of it. And here we come to the understanding that everything has already happened. First, it has already happened because awareness knows all things. So all things appear in awareness. Awareness itself is ever present and past and future, therefore, happen now.
and it has already happened as well because from an absolute perspective nothing is actually happening it's just awareness perceiving itself in different forms So true strength is not doing, it is simply being. Being is all encompassing. It includes the conventional understanding of strength. which to some degree always involves separation or a doer. In truth, doing is a part of being, an effortless part of being, and not the other way around, not being a part of doing. Thank you.